Hi everyone, welcome to another video. We are now in May of our circuit breaker and there is good news that some businesses are gradually opening up and I believe everybody will be going out to get some haircuts or laundry services. Anyway, I met some new friends and a feedback who someone had asked me, this circuit breaker cannot conduct any viewings and will my business be affected? First of all, I'd like to thank you for the concern. And yes, the property market is low due to the viewing difficulties. And that was why we are conducting virtual home viewing which was mentioned in my previous video. But the true fact is there is still viewing requests from the buyers or tenants who are searching for their home. Why is it so? Because besides searching for what to eat during this circuit breaker, if you feel like buying a car and you really want to own that car or that watch or that latest gadget or that bag for the ladies, would you want to wait after the lockdown to search for it? Or will this circuit breaker going to stop you from searching? Or is it even if you are staying at home now, you are still searching online and looking at the specification of that bag or that latest gadget that you want. So please tell me here, are you still searching? And uh, comment below if you are still searching the thing that you wish to get. So this is why there are still viewing requests. Because serious buyers or tenants are still searching for a home. But the thing is everybody hoping for what? Hoping for the circuit breaker to cause the price to tank. Especially, there was an article written just a few days ago that the developers likely to cut price of Singapore new launches. But if we look at the positive side, probably we may stand a chance to get a unit that the developer may sell us way below the market price. Probably yes, because every crisis there is an opportunity. It's whether would you buy when nobody is buying or you will buy when everybody is buying. So is there a chance for the developer cutting their price for this coming three to four months? This may happen to those developers who probably only sold 10% of their units. And therefore, there may be a chance for them to cut their price in their coming months because they didn't sell enough units in the beginning. Ma. But so far, we haven't witnessed a drastic price drop for the developers on the ground. Probably some developers already sold 70% or more units and they are already safe because they are still have the time to sell their remaining units to their TOP or within the 5 years. So they actually can lower their target to just sell 10 units for every month slowly. Then it's hardly for them to go for a fire sales. Secondly, for developers who previously launched with a higher profit margin, then probably there will be a chance for the developer to cut the price later on. And why they can do so? Because they can still sell by lowering their profit margin that they had already made earlier on, you see? But for those developers who have a lower profit margin, the risk for them to cut their price are lower because they are already selling at almost at a break-even price. Ma. Therefore, it's hardly for them to cut their price later on. Lastly, uh, it's those buyers who already bought a unit but haven't actually exercised yet. So for this group, the developers will dare not cut the price to jeopardize these cases because it will affect their sales and they, they still need to answer to the banks. See. Therefore, in conclusion, not every launches you can buy, but what you can do is to do your research to evaluate the details of the individual launches. And also, understanding how does the developer pricing strategy works. So always remember, cheap doesn't mean it's good. And cheap is always never the reason to buy. Value is. So lastly, most people actually saw the headline of the article. 
but it's actually a commentary written for a survey by NUS. It's an opinion comparing for a, with a fracture from an announcement by MND in a few days later for the temporary relief measure for the property sector due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So please go and read about it. I will put these links below and take this opportunity to really understand the property market. So this comes to the end of my video. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll share to anyone who you feel it is useful to them. And comment below if you like to share your thoughts. I will greatly appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video. As always, stay home, stay safe.